Well, it's Wednesday, and what do we do on Wednesday? We join in with our awesome creator here for budget meals under $5. And she does a great job on her channel, does lots of great different things to share. But my favorite thing on her channel is budget meals under $5. Go check her out and see what she does and how creative she is about her cooking. Please check out the playlist and see what all the other creators joined in and put together this week. A bunch of great channels making some great inexpensive meals. Now let's go see what Grandma made for lunch and you're not going to believe what I spent. So sit down with your cup of tea and see what I did this week. It's Wednesday. And what do we do every Wednesday? Budget meals under $5. Oh yeah. And today's going to be a great one. This is going to be a meal that we're going to spend 30 minutes or less putting together. Yeah, 30 minutes from the beginning to the end. And how we're going to do that, we're going to get that water boiling. As soon as we start, we're going to get a fly, fry pan taken out, put some oil in it, get it preheated. So when we start putting all our ingredients in, it's going to cook quick and fast. Also, we are going to be cooking like a peasant today, but eating like a queen. <clears throat> this meal is going to be 75 cents per serving or a dollar and a half for a couple. Here is my oil already preheated. And that way it makes it easier for me to put my ingredients in here and get them going quick. And you can already see the little mustard seeds are starting to jump around a little. And we put our peanuts in here with our mustard seeds and let them get a little toasted, warm them up a little. Then we're going to use, you can use two cloves of garlic or one, I had a big garlic clove, so I only used one. But if you didn't have a big one, I would use two. Let them sort of marry up a little bit, move around a little bit. You can see their little toasting moving around. I'm gonna put some carrots in here too. These are baby carrots. Baby carrots cook a lot quicker than regular sized carrots. And I have a garden full of carrots and I got lots of babies out there. So I use baby carrots, they cook quicker and it makes it a lot easier to put these meals together. Now, I also had a little problem. I cooked the same recipe yesterday and I used two of these chilies. It was too hot. Today I used only one and it wasn't hot enough. I guess I need to use one and a half. But you know, everybody has different heat tolerance. I cleaned out all the seeds as you can see. I cut them up small, put them in my dish and let them all get together. And like I said, this is not going to take that long to cook because those are baby carrots. These are the seasonings I used. I also added um, some uh, lemon pepper that I didn't share, but these are uh, those are the five things I used. I put them in here, stirred them around in with my uh, carrots and my nuts and uh, all my other ingredients. And then I put three fourths of a cup of water in here and got that heated up too. Once that water heated up, and everything mixed around. Like I said, it didn't take long, just a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna put my rice in here and let it all get together. This is a very quick, easy meal to put together that anyone can do. Just a few ingredients and it really doesn't take long to cook. And as you can see, the water heated up really quick because everything in here was already hot. This is a medium flame. So that's another reason, be careful not to get it too high and burn something because I'm doing it, cooking it pretty fast. I put my rice in here and all that liquid you saw will be absorbed by the rice and put all the flavor from that pan into the rice. And this is so inexpensive, 75 cents per serving. Can't go wrong with that. Great little lunch for me and my husband. The green onions came from my garden and that was something free that I didn't have to buy. But even if you had to buy it, it surely wouldn't bring up that bill much more than what I said I spent. So what do you think? Give me some comments and let me know. It really was very filling and it really tastes good. But please make sure that you season it and taste as you go to make sure you don't over season. You can always add more seasonings if it's not spicy enough for you but once you've made it too spicy like I did you can't take the spice out and if you don't really like hot spicy foods you don't even need to put the pepper in if you don't want to I think you should cook the way you like and that's what's great about cooking it yourself you can make it any way you want and how you like to eat 
So let me know what you thought of the food today. This was a budget meal, and thank you so much. I'm about halfway through this bowl of rice with carrots and nuts. And believe it or not, I'm almost full. So this is a very inexpensive meal. It was about 75 cents to make it. Uh, I cooked enough for at least two meals. Couldn't have cost me over a dollar and a half. I didn't use but just a small amount of rice. Carrots are almost no money at all, or you can grow them in your garden like me. The green onions, I, um, I didn't spend any money there from my garden also. And maybe if I had to buy those ingredients, it would have been a little more expensive. I used the baby carrots. I think they're more tender. They cook quicker and they are just look great in the, I think, in the bowl. What do you think? Uh, you'll see a lot of baby carrots in my garden because that's what I like to eat. Uh, so anyway, that's how we got these carrots to cook so quick and to be nice and tender because they're the baby carrots. They're not a full-size carrot. And the green onions, uh, believe it or not, was a free, uh, it was really double free because I had bought these green onions at the grocery store. I planted the bottom of the green onion and my green stalks. And believe it or not, they grew and now I'm cutting off of them. So I think we're doing really good about our little gardening using the baby carrots and the, uh, the green uh, onions from my garden. What do you think? I don't think you can get much better than this. 75 cent or less per serving. I mean, there wasn't much I had to buy, the rice, but there isn't a lot of rice in here because rice goes a long ways. The most expensive thing I have in here is probably the peanuts. And even the peanuts are really going a long ways because you're not using a lot at one time. And I did buy the green chilies, but I will probably start growing them in my garden this year. And so that'll be another thing we won't have to spend money on. I'm trying to figure out what I like and I don't want to be growing things if I'm not going to eat them. So keep coming back. We're going to keep finding some budget meals for you. This is about 75 cents per serving or about a dollar and a half for the whole dish for two, for two servings. So let me know what you think and it's really filling.